What are the challenges that you're being given actually as a gift for your future that sometimes we see instead as a challenge that we don't know how to overcome? What's up, YouTube? It's Jesse Lee. Call me hashtag Boss Lee, and I hope you love the video you're about to see. I'm pretty sure you will because it's always content over here. I want to tell you about a couple other things, specifically one that you can also get some more value from, and all you need to do, and you can do it now, just pause this video, is go ahead and text YouTube to 844-277-9762. I'm going to be really upping the text game, and it's literally me texting you back. So if you want to have a more one-on-one -on -one conversation with me, enjoy the video, subscribe, comment below, and make sure you text YouTube again to 844-277-9762. Challenges are opportunities. And this is really, I'm actually about to do a champ training on this, but this is really the law of pain. It's a John Maxwell thing. Okay, but having a growth mindset means you almost look for opportunities for self-improvement, meaning you almost want to learn how to fail well. Does that make sense? Because we're all gonna fail. We're all going to make mistakes. We're all going to do things that we're not proud of all the time. We're all going to slip up. We're all going to hurt people's feelings occasionally. We're all going to, you know, have the condition of being a human, <laughs> right? We all have that human condition, I think. I don't know. Tommy calls me a cyborg. I'm pretty sure I'm a human, but that's okay. All right. But we have to look at those those opportunities of failure as an opportunity. It's an opportunity to learn. It's an opportunity to grow. It's an opportunity to pivot. It's an opportunity to get better. It's not, it's not to tear you down. It's that those challenges are happening to you as an opportunity to grow. It sucks when a leg blows you out mentally. But does it actually suck when you log into your back office and you see that you still got paid for leading the people to where you led them? Well, the answer you're looking for is no. Is it a challenge that will make you learn and grow and maybe develop different skill sets of sales or different skill sets of recruiting or different skill sets of developing more people into rank twos? What are the challenges that you're being given actually as a gift for your future that sometimes we see instead as a challenge that we don't know how to overcome? It's an opportunity to get creative. I'm going to share this story two Zooms in a row. So if you're champs, I'm not sorry. You're going to hear it twice because I love it. So there's a farmer and this farmer was a chicken farmer. So this farmer is Katie Van Gordon. Okay. So this farmer, she's not a farmer, but she has chickens. Okay. All right. I mean, you're the only person I know with chickens. I have to use it as, I have to use you as the chicken person. Okay. So we have Katie Van Gordon and Katie's a chicken farmer and Katie has Hundreds and hundreds of chickens in my story. Okay, so Katie's house is on a hill and uh, climate change happened. And what had happened was where the chickens like to roam and eat their food. When the storm started coming in as the weather changed in Wisconsin, they, it started uh, drowning her chickens. Now, not all of them. Okay, but like a couple of them drowned and it was terrible. Her chickens died. Right, not all of them. And then the next year it got a little worse. And and Kate farmer Katie said to her husband said to Garrett, <laughs> said to Garrett, babe, I don't know what to do. My chickens are dying. And he said, What do you mean? And she said, They're all drowning. I don't know what to do. Like I would do I ch I can't change the weather and I can't change the way that the the hill is sloping. And then the next year it got worse. Right. The next year, Katie's chickens, it was bad, guys. It was almost like a flood. And all of Katie's chickens, 100 percent of the flock died. And Katie ran up to the house after seeing all the chickens and she's crying to Garrett. And she's like, oh, it's dead. Oh, my chickens are dead. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to. There's nothing we can do. We don't have any higher ground. I can't do this anymore. Buying more chickens is not the solution. My chickens, they keep dying. And Garrett said to Katie, Katie, why don't you become a duck farmer? Hey, what's the solution if the chickens can't make it there? What can? And so sometimes we look at things and life is not going the way you want it to. And, and it's not perfect and it's messy and we want something to work the way we want it to work. We want the flipping chickens, just like you guys want the team members to win that for some reason just won't wake up and work their business. Like go be a duck farmer, pivot. It's 
okay. Everybody, it, it's okay. These, these are examples of challenges being opportunities. Then Katie became the best darn duck farmer out there in all the land. That's what happens. That's what happens when instead of viewing a challenge as something that's going to cripple you in your life, you instead look at it as, hey, what is the opportunity for me to grow?